This is Book Talk with Corbin. I am your host. Right now, I just wanted to quickly just touch upon an issue that sort of stood out for me around this whole Kyle Rittenhouse acquittal. And I was, of course, very pleased and happy that the young man was not convicted for engaging in what I clearly saw as self-defense. I mean, my position is real simple. If he was found not guilty, I mean, if he wasn't engaged in self-defense, of course he should be held accountable for for what happened, you know, for shooting and killing those people. But if it was self-defense, then obviously he shouldn't be convicted for trying to defend himself. And I think that many people on the left, the progressive, the so-called woke crowd, etc., were throwing in some issues that were just absurd and just didn't stand the reason. But, you know, they're putting it up there. And uh, apparently the jury said, well, we think it's self-defense. Let the kid go. Afterwards, you know, of course, we heard about the so-called protesting that happened and the rioting and the threats. I mean, there were threats before the uh, jury made its decision, of course, threats afterwards. But there's one thing that came up. I saw how many people claim made some claims about Kyle that was flat out wrong. I mean, the evidence didn't show it. And the, and the big thing was, he's a white supremacist. He picked up a gun, crossed state lines with the intent to cause trouble, to hurt people, to kill people. And, uh, you know, it's that's just a typical, it's just typical for the progressives, the woke folk, if it's possible for them to throw in the the race card, they're going to do it. Despite the fact this young man was white and he, in self-defense, shot three white people. But they have to play that race card. Consistently. Faithfully. They have to play that race card. And they have to play that race card because they want to push this narrative that White men, if they're patriotic, if they're conservative, they hate black people. They want to kill, destroy, colonize black people. If you are white, you're conservative, patriot, employed, self-employed, you hate black people. You have, you're out to kill and destroy, colonize black people. If you're a white, conservative, Christian, own a business, you hate black people. Let me say, that's their narrative. And they have to push that narrative time and time again. That's, the, that's a foundational part of critical race theory. A lot of these black radicals out here with all these degrees, they're lying to you when they say, no, that's not right. It is. That's what critical race theory is. That's a critical part of, of, that's a critical part of critical race theory. That's an important central part of critical race theory. White men bad. Well, if you're a white man who's heterosexual and Christian and conservative, you're patriot, you're bad, you're evil. Guys, let me tell you something. Speaking to those white guys who you know fall into that category, you're not going to convince these people otherwise. You're not going to convince these people otherwise. You are not going to convince these people otherwise. I saw some of that film with Kyle, and I was like, my God, if I had a if I was in that situation, I had a stick stoned 
anything, I would have done exactly what that kid did as far as trying to defend myself. It was obvious they were attacking him. It's obvious they were going after him. It was obvious they were going to take his life or, or at a minimum beat him to a bloody pulp. So there was the evidence. Folks, these people don't care about evidence. They reject reason. Remember now, one critical element of this whole, one important element of this whole critical race theory is that to be rational is white. It's bad whiteness. You know, to talk about evidence or merit-based hiring, that's white. And being white's bad. How can you reason with something like that? You can't. I'm saying to all white male conservatives, libertarians, heterosexuals, fundamentalists, whatever. Stop. Don't even try to uh, convince these folks. Here's what you need to do. And I'm speaking to you as a former Marxist, former socialist. I was all in that movement. I'm speaking to you as a, as a black conservative. Here's what you need to do. Keep doing what you're doing. Go about your business. Raise your family. Love your wives. Vote. Build your businesses. Do the best you can in your job. Join men's groups. Important men's groups. Men's groups that where you can just be with other men and be supportive of one another. Help one another go through life's uh, trials and tribulations. Just go about your business. Read books, important books. The Bible, Socrates, Plato. Read the classics. Love your children. Hug your children. Be the best father you can be. Be the best husband you can be. Whatever career you've chosen, just try to be the best you can be. Whatever business you've got, just, just build it. Build it strong. And if you can hire people, man, hire people. Treat them right. Be firm with your employees, but fair. You know, reward them. Let them know you appreciate it. Let your wife know, hey, I know I'm an idiot at times, and I appreciate you sticking in there with me. Just keep doing what you're doing, guys. And when you are in that situation, similar to what Kyle was in or Judge Kavanaugh, just stand. Stand up. Be strong, be courageous, and stand up. And don't feel that you're weak for showing some emotion and maybe shedding a few tears or expressing a little anger. Perfectly all right. Perfectly all right. Develop a good relationship with a, a real Bible preaching minister, a real, a real men's group, solid men's group. Do that. Because these savages cannot be reasoned with. You ever seen an you ever seen a shark like blood is in the water and a shark's nearby? You ever see what they do and then th maybe someone throws in a, a carcass or something? You ever see what they do? That's the that's the so called woke crowd. That's the progressives. Those, those socialists, those cultural Marxists, they're like sharks. Blood in the water, dead body in the water, they just go after it. They sometimes get in such a f eating frenzy, they, they eat one another. That's the way those folks are. Can't reason with them. I'm sorry, you can't reason with them. And here I'm going to ask, make one more appeal to, to white male conservatives and libertarians and all. Do everything you can do to support black conservative podcasters. Do everything you can do to support black conservative YouTubers. Do everything you can do to support black conservative uh, politicians, public servants, scholars. Do everything you can. Because let me tell you something. Those sharks, they're after us too. They're after us, too. 
as an example, look what they did with uh, Larry Elder, California. You didn't see Oprah Winfrey stand up and say, oh, he's going to be the first black mayor of California. We need to get behind that. She said that about that black woman down there in Georgia. I forgot her name, but, oh, she's going to be the first black person or black woman and to be governor of Georgia. We need to get behind her. She said it for that woman. She didn't say it for Larry Elder. I'll tell you why she said it for that woman. She didn't say it for Larry Elder. It's the way she defines blackness. Blackness for her is equivalent to uh, uh, wokeness and, and progressive stuff. Left-leaning. Boy, if you're not woke, if you're not progressive, if you're not a cultural Marxist, if you're not a socialist, you're not black. That's, I mean, that's what, what they say about people like Larry Elder, Dr. Thomas Sowell, the late Dr. Walter Williams. Black uh, conservative podcasters, black conservative YouTubers. That's what they say. We're not real black. We're not real black people. We are the black face for white supremacy. You can't reason with that. They're nuts. That's crazy. That's irrational. Remember now, to be rational is to be white. They're like, this, this shark is <laughs> smelling blood in the water. They just Go kill so we need to be more we need you to be supportive of us and who's the us black conservative podcasters and youtubers so of course we're right there in the front line against these these nut jobs you know they they got that that gun pointed towards us too they get that gun pointed towards you they get that gun pointed towards us and you know we need you as allies in this in this battle, really not just as really not. I won't even want to say allies. We're in the same army. You may be in the Air Force. I'm in the Navy. You may be in the Army. And, you know, I'm I'm in the Special Forces. We're all one art. We're all we're all one. One military force, battling for what? America, United States of America. That's it. We're all battling for the United States of America. Man, I don't want to see the the white left uh, thrown in gulags. They want us thrown in gulags. That's not what we want. You know, I don't I don't want to see the white left lose their jobs and these black radicals lose their jobs. Hat look good part of them ain't working anyway. <laughs> What's it to lose? A lot of them ain't working anyway. Too busy out running out in the street, looting people, robbing and businesses and all. They want that for us. I want to make America great again. An America where there's free speech across the board. America where there's intellectual diversity across the board. America where people are based on merit, not color or what political line they take across the board they don't want that they don't want that for us but we want that for them and us that's what that's what our, that's what we're fighting for and guys you got to do a better job in coming together again i might be in the air force you're in the navy you know i might be in the army you're you're in special forces we need to come together we're one we need to coordinate we need white male conservatives, libertarians, patriots, doing more in the way of supporting black conservative podcasters, black conservative YouTubers. We're all in the same battle, guys, against the same enemy. And that enemy really is not individuals per se. It's, it's their ideas, their policies, their programs, their criminal behavior and their support for criminal behavior. That's what our enemy is. So I just I just wanted to, to share that, to put that out there. It's heavy in my heart. It's important for me to get that out there. Go to my website, booktalkwithcorbin.com, booktalkwithcorbin.com. And if you have an author to uh, recommend that I interview in the program, you know, just lay, lay that down there. There's a form you can fill out on my website and send that to me. BookTalkWithCorbin.com. I'm your host. Be in touch, guys. You know you'll be hearing from me again.